like that bear buddy okay today's a real basic one it's just how do we go from motion capture to keyframing control rig a couple of things about that okay first thing i'm going to do is make a sequencer i'm going to go to metahuman uh oh, sorry uh cinematics and i'm going to make a level sequencer okay i'm going to call it bob uh sq for sequencer and you're just going to drag that sequencer into your level okay we're done we're done now if you select your sequencer and you double click do you double is this record yeah it's recording yeah, we double click that sequence in here that's in your the, the details if you don't have details just go to windows and details and you can open it up here okay and you get something like this first thing we're going to do is select our metahuman and we're going to click track up here and add actor to sequence and because you've got it highlighted it it'll it'll put it right there for you Okay, active to sequencer, choose your metahuman, and boom, it sets everything up for you, okay? Uh, if you close the sequencer, your rig disappears, okay? Uh, it used to be that if you just click off of it, your rig disappears, but it doesn't seem like it anymore. Anyway, if I click my human, the rig's gone, but that's fine. All you got to do is click back on your sequencer, double click your sequencer, and you still don't have a rig. There we go. That's better. I still don't have a rig, Ari. But if I click on the meta human control rig, it's right there. Okay? Just in case. Just in case, love. So, let us uh, create some animations, right? I'm just going to go onto the body rig. And let's just do something stupid. Go to zero up there. And you can hit... Uh, you can... What is the... Uh, click over here. Sure. A shortcut, shortcut key for keyframing animation. I had, to, I had to look that one up. Anyway, if you look up, uh, if you just click on something and you hit enter, it'll make a keyframe for you and you can move it and you can uh, move it around. Uh, let's just take uh, limits off. Ah, oh, that's always nice. Oh, yeah, let's try it again, Ari. Let's try it again. So I'm going to go to the body. I'm going to uh, click on the head, something like that. All right. Uh, and move it a little bit. Let's just switch off these uh, things because they, they, they snap the grid. Just switch them off if you want something more smooth. Ah, ah, eh? So I'm going to do that. I can hit enter and it sets a keyframe. I can do this and hit enter and, you know, do do whatever you want to do, mate. Hit enter. And then, you know, you can, you can go back and, and, and select what else you want to change uh it's not going to be an in-depth uh, animation tutorial this is oh, all right we're not going to go into pixar with this one look at that mate look at that look at that hello Ari. and you can set a couple of keyframes with whatever you want okay uh let's just do one for the body quick just so that we've got something to compare to click enter and and oh yeah Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And back again. Uh, and so we've got... We've got that, okay? Which is beautiful on its own, mate. It's beautiful. Look at him go, mate. If he goes from this direction... Look at him. Look at him go. It's beautiful. Can't stop doing this with the damn it that humans. All right, and one more thing. Let's just take the hand and let's just move that around. Oh, that doesn't work, does it? That's fine. Just go to the very top and hit I. Just type IK in here. It'll give you your IKs and then just switch all of your IKs on, okay? Hit all of your IKs. Just click them on. Makes your life a hell of a lot easier. You can get rid of the search bar. And now, Ari, I can hit enter and move it, move it. Because I put IK on for everything, I lost all my animation. I didn't have to put it on for the spine and everything, but I did. I did, Ari. I suppose it works a little bit better. Yeah, it works. At <laughs> all right, Ari. So because, it's, because I've dealt with the spine and stuff, it overrides because we've got the IK. It's fine. We could just hit enter, go a little bit further, do something kill cool like that. Oh God, that's beautiful. And then do another one like this. Look at him go, Ari. My God, look at him go. Look at him. 
So, you know, if you if you want to apply for Disney and stuff, mate, just follow my rule book. All right, so we're going to take that, hit enter. Same thing over here. We just want some animation on this thing. Hell yeah, this guy's jamming, bro. Ooh, ooh. Look at that, look at that, look at that. So, because these metahumans are so realistic, it needs realistic animation. It needs it, mate. It begs for it. That's why we are number one animators here, and we're just going to do this, all right? And this is just to show you uh, a couple of things. Man, this guy's jamming. He's ready for the weekend, baby. He's ready for the weekend. He's ready for that weekend, you know? Uh, I'm just going to put it onto uh, whatever here so it's easier. Uh, I changed the orientation by clicking this little thing. Changed the orientation so it just suits it better for the hand. Okay. So now we've got this dude absolutely going mental. He's going mental, as you can see. Look at his beard. Look at his little beard go. Look at his little beard go, mate. And that's all I'm going to do for this, right? Just these are all keyframes. You can see they're all keyframes. Now check this out. I can go in here, I can right click the body up here, right click the body and say bake animation sequence. Okay, this is how you bake out all your animation. And you can just select a place, I'm just going to put in levels, YouTube human, and I'm going to call it base skeleton dance. Okay, he's going to be dancing, yeah. And hit OK, that's it. Now. It'll render out your animation. Just leave all of this. This is all fine. Reset to default. Click it closed and export to whatever. Whatever you want, mate. And that's it. That's it. Now, I want to use my animation instead of my control rig, right? So, what you can do, what you can do is you can just delete. Delete the control rig. You don't want that to control your animation anymore. And on body, you can hit the plus, go to animation, and just select your brand new animation dance there it is it's all right there click it and what we got here Ari look at him go Ari look at him go and from here now what you can do is you can right click into properties and you can do a vast number of things play it too let's see what it does now he goes bloody crazy look at him look at him go Ari I can stretch this out and he, he just goes crazy, Ari. Look at him. Oh, he's duplicating his dance moves. It's crazy, Ari. That's bloody good. And on top of that, Ari, you still got your face rig that you can start animating the face. Look at this. Look at that, Ari. Let's do, like, enter over here. Uh, let's do his... I, what, what is this? What, what, what is this move? His eyes, Ari. His eyes. And then we can hit enter over here. Move his eyes around, because he's bloody gone mental, mate. Look at him go. Look at that. And you can go a little bit further, hit enter. Move those beautiful eyes down like that. That's beautiful. And now what's he got? He's got these eyes that are going crazy, Ari. I suppose we can... <laughs> I need to move all these keyframes. I keyed everything. Probably shouldn't have, you know what I mean? But from here, you can just move your keyframes, close everything up, and move the very top of the... It moves all the keyframes in. And then it just goes crazy, which is bloody beautiful. It's bloody beautiful. Look at them go. Let's make another one over there, Ari. Just moving that out of the way so I can see. Oh, it looks to the side. Look at that. Hit enter. Move it a little bit there, Ari. Move it like that. Hit enter. So now look at his eyes go. Oh, he's, he's bloody loving it. He's bloody loving it, Ari. Uh, and let's just take... Uh, I need, yeah, 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 we'll take that one, just so that we don't have to go into too much detail. Click on that. Do something like that. Hit enter. Go on to the next one. Move it up like that. Oh, he's, he's loving this. He's loving this, Ari. Mouth. Move it to the other side. So look at him now. He's just gone bloody... Oh, man, he's gone bloody... Bloody nuts. Bloody nuts. He's loving it. He's loving it, Ari. He's bloody... <laughs> oh, man, the comments that are going to come from this one. Eh? Anyway. Look at that. He's gone mental. Mental, Ari. So we can rewind that. And what we can do is we can take this 
control, go on the face, right click, and we can bake animation sequence, and we can do the same thing. That was, I'm just gonna put it where I want, and call it face, face anim. Don't, don't give names like this. Give, give, you should do it properly, but I'm not gonna do it face anim. I am too lazy, too lazy, mate. And export the animation, and the same thing over here. We can, now, the one thing that you can do, instead of deleting the facial control rig, you don't have to do that. Uh, let's say you wanted to go back. Uh, I'll show you how to bake the animation back onto the rig, but let's say you didn't want to do that. You didn't want to mess with anything at the moment. So you don't have to hide it. What you can do is you can say the control rig, right click on it, and you can say mute, which means it's not working anymore. You can see that. Then we can just go to face plus animation and you can take your this one face anim click on it and you have a working metahuman again <laughs> now the nice thing about this is that either you can you're not happy with the animation you can delete that you can go back right click on your face rig and you can say click on unmute and you can go back and you can uh, optimize anything you want on this face right on a face right so we can take these and you can move it up whatever hit enter take this eye and move it that way hit enter and now you've got your new animation Woo! okay it goes bam <laughs> It's awesome, and you can repeat the same process. Okay, you can you can save it out as a, an animation, right? But for this one, we deleted the rig, so we deleted all the animation on the rig. So we don't know what to do here, right? We are like, man, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? You can right click on the body, and you can say bake to control rig meta human control rig. Just click on that. And I guess just leave everything as it is. One tolerance, whatever, and create. And what's that's going to do, mate, is it's going to build a control rig for you again. Okay. And you should be, say, ordered. Uh, and there it is. Okay. So the animation, I think, is muted or whatever. We can delete the animation because we're not using it. You can see it's, like, not used anymore. So we can delete that. And we've got a one-for-one one now with our rig okay so the other thing if you want to continue animating over it I'll... right so you can just go to the control rig over here you can say plus and additive and what this will do is it'll give you a brand new thing to continue animating your thing all right that's the baked one this is the new one and then what you can do is you can additively uh, add on top of your animation okay which is pretty cool. That's right. There we go. And that's taking that, mate. That's taking that. What, what? What's going on here, mate? What's going on here? Let's just stick on this this thing over here. And you can just continue animating, okay? Which is pretty cool. And this will act as an additive animation on top of what you've done, okay? So you can add your other animations on top of that. Once again, once you're finished with all of this, you can just go up to the body and you can bake out the animation sequence and all shall be working just fine. All right. Anyway, I hope this helps and thanks for joining. And I hope, uh, let me know if this helps you. It's just going from keys to animation, animation back to keys if you want to edit and we're good to go. Bye guys.